Hello, just before we start with the video, I just want to let you know of promotion that we've got on cwdpond.com. If you buy the Filtro Combi Next Drum, you'll receive a 4-inch aerated pressure bottom drain, a 1-inch and 4-inch pressure pipe, 3 metres of each, and a 1-inch and 4-inch elbow. So a big thank you to all of our customers that have supported us, and thank you everyone that's watched and subscribed. Hello, Carl from CWD, just before the rain is about to come in. So we've got a Filtro Next filter here. You see we've dry plumbed everything, we've not actually glued anything together. It's starting to rain now and I don't really like doing fittings and things in the rain because you can run into issues. Uh, you don't have to obviously, but I prefer doing it that way. Um, so with this you've got three inlets, you can see two of them are taken up by the two bottom drains and this third is going to be from the skimmer here. So this is your waste valve, so we'll put a 4 to 2 reducer on this and we'll have the waste coming down and running this way and then all the waste is going to shoot out of that direction. There's a big uh, culvert down there, so it's all going to go down there. Um, we've got two purge valves, so you can see this is a single pipe coming from the drain and it goes into a T. At the lowest point we could, with this concrete pad being there, we've got a line running all the way down here. Uh, we're going to stick a valve on the end of there, one of these slide valves, and that's going to be used for purging. So this pipe and this pipe are both going to tee in together, round about here, go all the way down there, so you'll have one air so you can purge one, and then another air so you can purge that one. That just helps keep the sediment from settling from the, in the bottom drains. Uh, you've got your two slide valves to isolate the filter if you ever need to. <coughs> Obviously these are closed when you're purging as well. So you open them and then your water's free. It's made through there from your bottom drains. So the water passes through, through these, you can see the holes there at the bottom. And it goes into the drum screen. Can't really, that's the best way of showing you the inside of the drum screen. So water travels through this fine, I think it's a 70 micron mesh in this one and then water particles well particles in the water any bigger than 70 microns won't travel through this screen they'll get stuck and that's where the spray bar comes in what the spray bar does is it sprays a jet of water and that pushes any waste onto this and then the water travels out and down through the waste there so the water that does make it through the screen goes down through the bottom passes through this UV here, it's a bit tight to do in my left hand, um, so it passes past the 40 watt amalgam UV and uh, you can just see that's where it sits down there. That also helps keep this screen from having any algae forming on it because uh, algae doesn't like the, the strong UV rays that it emits so that help keep, helps reduce any uh, maintenance on the screen which is good. Um, this is where your wash pump sits, screws on at the bottom here, it's got a, f a female one inch uh, BSP connector, that just screws on the bottom there, that's what feeds this spray bar. So you're getting clean filtered water going back there. This pipe here, this 10 mil connection nipple here, that converts into one inch pressure, goes down into a rubber disc, a nine inch rubber disc, and this area, the 350 litre moving bed, is full of media. The disc agitates the media, so it's constantly killing off any weak bacteria, keeping stronger bacteria, helping deal with your ammonia and your nitrates. And then the water goes out of one of these two holes here. One of the holes will be feeding a backy shower. The other will be feeding a return through to the pond. So we're going to drill a return on the pond here. Um, and that's just going to have a two inch, the pump's going to be sat out, it's going to have a two inch going straight through that wall into there. And that's pretty much it. It's a good unit, it's nice and compact, everything facing the same way, i.e. quite a lot of drums have inlets and things on that side, outlets on this side, and that takes up, can take up a lot more room. Whereas I like this one because the filter's facing the pond, everything's easily accessible, and um, yeah, I just, I just like it because it's pretty much plug in and play. So that's what the pipe wear looks like from this side. I'll just show you what it looks like from that side. Now we've fitted the window today as well. 
just show you. Insulation and things haven't been finished. The builders attempted it, but we're going to make it neater, don't worry. Uh, but we've got it braced in. The customer decided he wanted to put a coarser block uh, brick around to frame the window, so he didn't really need the window to be as big as it is, but but he'd already ordered it, so he couldn't change it. And he's going to have, he's thinking about a pergola and glass sides because he has mink and a lot of problems around here. So yeah, nice big pond.